Hello beautiful souls and welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys all so very much for joining me here. My name is Kelsey and today we are looking at a message for your soul, a message that you need to hear right now. So go ahead, grab yourself a notebook if you feel called to do so, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, pull up a chair and sit for a spell. Okay guys, so out in front of you, here we have our card selection, and I'm going to ask you to take a couple deep breaths, really ground yourself, connect to your intuition, connect to your guides, and ask which one of these three cards, or which one of these three stones, um, or which ones of, if there's more than one, is calling to you at this time, um, which pile or piles have a message for you that you need to hear at this time that your soul needs to hear at this time and here we have uh, pile number one two and three and I will have the timestamps to the beginning of each reading in the description box below along with the cards that I'm using and the link to my website for anybody who wants to book a reading as well as the link to uh, become a member on the channel if that's something you feel called to do so go ahead, uh, take your time, pause the video if you still need a moment to choose, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to group number one. Hello, my beautiful group number one. Those of you that chose card number one with the fluorite here, this reading is for you, and we are just looking at messages uh, that your soul needs to hear, messages that you need to hear at the time that you find yourself at this video. So group number one, starting off with the fluorite, there is a sense of clearing stagnancy. Um, so for a lot of you guys, maybe you've been in this position of feeling very stuck or stagnant or even frozen. Some of you guys may even kind of resonate with this idea of instead of being fight or flight, you freeze. Um, and that may be kind of a sign or a way for you to become aware of the fact that you are falling into survival mode. And you may also find that you have a hard time making decisions. Um, some of you guys may even kind of look at this as though you're being realistic or logical and you're trying to weigh your options. But there's something here where it's like it prevents you from moving forward um, because you... I just really feel like this energy of not being able to make a decision, not being able to take a step, um, feeling very stuck, stagnant, or frozen. Interesting. And, and with the fluorite, I feel like there is almost like a clearing of this energy that's trying to come through, um, or a need to become aware of this energy so that it can clear. Let's go ahead and take a look at your card here, and then we'll shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go. So group number one, we have every star is a doorknob. Interesting. Yeah, see, there's something here where it's like, maybe you guys even feel like maybe you're stuck in the in the in-between, um, or feeling very stuck in between, like, two different things, or feeling like you're stuck on the fence. Let me just fix this camera. So I do feel for a lot of you guys here that there is a need to travel into unknown or unfamiliar territory. There is a need to go to a place you've never done before, to do things you've never done before, to do things in a way you've never done before in order to kind of break free from this in-between state um, that I feel like a lot of my group number ones may be in. There's a lot of possibilities that are being presented to you, but for a lot of you guys, maybe you're stuck in like habitual kind of energies or behaviors or patterns that keep you from being able to veer off or veer out of some sort of rut or out of some sort of energy that keeps you, like there's something here about like having to stay on the very straight and narrow or having to do things the way they've always been done or having to do things the safe way. Um, so there's this idea here for group number one to begin looking at possibilities or unfamiliar territory as opportunities and as um, more of a positive thing instead of a threat or 
a negative thing because I do feel for a lot of you guys that may be kind of what throws you into survival mode is this uncertainty or this unknown energy um, and you may kind of register this energy as a threat and spirit is coming through here and wanting you to know wanting your your soul to know potentially that just because you're doing something new or something different or going in a new direction or taking a new opportunity opening a new door doesn't mean that you are in danger okay so let's go ahead and pull some tarot for you group number one and see what else spirit wants you to know at this time So there's a very big message here with this um, this card to open as many doors as you can. Um, allow yourself to step into things that are unfamiliar. Allow yourself to do things in new ways. To um, wake up every day and tell yourself that anything is possible. So starting off we have the chariot. So some of you guys I feel like are stuck in this energy of I fought so hard to get to where I'm at or to get what I wanted or to achieve something or to uphold some sort of image that I'm scared to do anything differently now because I'm scared I'm going to lose what I've already done or what I've already achieved or that the rug is going to get pulled out from underneath me. Or that it's too dangerous to change jobs because I might lose my house or it's like this almost very dramatic kind of thought processes that keep you in this fearful energy um, that keep you from kind of moving forward and for a lot of you guys here I'm getting this energy of past life kind of traumas coming to the surface at the time that you're watching this video and so for some of you guys you may have experienced a past life or like past life energies where you decided to take a risk or to do something very drastic change something very drastic in that past life and maybe it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to and it's like your soul is still holding on to that memory um, almost like in your sacral chakra. So you may even find that for group number one, you may find that you have like creative blocks. You may find that you have a hard time being optimistic. You may find that you have a hard time, um, seeing the potential or seeing the possibilities in life or in work. Um, interesting. But especially when it comes to your life, like you may be able to look at other people and see their potential and see their creativity and really like look at other people or situations in awe when there's like when people are like inspired to do big, great things or to make big, great changes. But it's like when you look at yourself, you lose all of that. Like you don't believe that anything is possible for you, but you believe that anything is possible for anybody else. And there's something here about that is coming from like a past life or like a soul memory that you are really needing to maybe dive into to heal or to release in some way, shape or form in order to kind of crack open and activate your own creativity and inspiration. Interesting. We also have the two of voices. Yeah, and this is really giving me that kind of energy of um, being stuck on the fence. Look, we have this door here again, and then we have these um, two women, and it almost is giving me this vibe of like they're both they're both looking away from this door, right? But it's almost as though they're fighting with each other, like trying to pull each other to each side, trying to convince each other that their way is best. And I feel like this is kind of representing that idea of the narrative within you or like fighting with yourself about whether or not you're going to allow yourself to open that door. I find that very symbolic. You guys may be even seeing doors or doorways or passages or portals or um, things like that as kind of a sign or a symbol, a synchronicity, a message for you at this time as well. But there's definitely something here about like fighting with yourself about keeping a door shut or allowing yourself to step into the unknown. Um, interesting. So there's almost something here, group number two, about allowing yourself to step through this portal, even though 
the inner narrative is maybe trying to convince you that any way is better than this way or that this is going to be dangerous. There's, there may be a need to really do this, whatever this is for you, is it is going to be different for everybody. This doorway is going to be different for everybody as this is a general reading, but there may need to be a, a need to kind of harness your willpower or your courage, your strength, your bravery to step through this portal, to step through this doorway, even though your inner narrative or your survival mode is telling you not to. Um, in order to then, um, it's almost like proving that survival mode, proving to that survival mode or that survival energy that there isn't, in fact, danger on the other side of this door. Um, that that it's, it's an illusion of danger because it's unfamiliar. Um, let's pull another card. We have the three of materials coming out in reverse here. Yeah, and this is definitely, there's something here, group number one, where it's like there is a lack of cohesion or alignment of the energies within yourself. It's like there's something out of balance within you, or it's like one part of you is pulling you one way, while another part of you is pulling you another way. Um it's almost like you're uncooperative with yourself or like there's things that you know you want to do but you can't make yourself do it or things that you know you want to explore or risks you know you want to take but you talk yourself out of it um, and there's really a need to kind of do those things even against what you consider to be your better judgment at this time in order to begin kind of breaking through the very rigid barriers I feel that a lot of you guys may have about what it means to take a risk or what it means to see possibilities because for a lot of you guys I really feel like there's a very deeply ingrained kind of energy where it's like your body your energy your soul perceives the unknown as dangerous and so it's like there's things you really want to explore things you've really wanted to do but you've never actually been able to do them because you fear them to an extent where it's like it for a lot of you guys it may feel like it would put your life in danger or you know feel very intense like that or like you might lose your house or like everything's going to go wrong and you just can't bring yourself to do those things because of the immense amount of danger that it feels like it's going to bring into your life um, and spirit here is really wanting you to know really wanting your soul to know that The, it what you're perceiving as danger isn't dangerous and is actually where you're meant to go um whatever that might whatever that might mean for you at this time group number one interesting so let's pull you a couple last messages here and see what else spirit wants you to know or see at this time for group number one i do also really feel for you guys with this kind of sacral energy with this past life energy um that it may be very healing and beneficial for you to create in some way, shape, or form, or to use like an art form or painting or writing or singing, um, something like that uh, could be very healing for you as you kind of break through these barriers. Interesting. So starting off, we have uh, this card here, and the message on this card is change. <laughs> For a change, do something you usually do a certain way in a different way. Yes, so that's just a beautiful confirmation that it's time to break free from the habitual behavior or from the patterns, from the rut that you've been stuck in. It's time to do things differently, group number one for sure. And then we also have this card here. Uh, go ahead and definitely feel free to pause here and take a look at this imagery. See if it invokes any emotions or thoughts or memories um, on any of these cards as well. Um, and the message here is push. Don't feel inadequate. Forget how to quit. Push on no matter how things look. Yeah, there's a huge message here, group number one, that spirit wants you to do the thing that is scaring you right now, to push yourself, to step through that doorway, to step into the unknown, um, to allow yourself to break free from this safe zone or from this idea of safety that you've created in your life because it's holding you back. 
Um, but this is what I'm seeing from my beautiful group number one. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other readings you guys would like to see. Uh, consider subscribing or joining the channel if you feel called to do so. I thank you guys so very much for joining me here and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello my beautiful group number two. Those of you that chose pile number two with the blue calcite here, this reading is for you. And starting off with this blue calcite, there is an energy of, of needing like a soothing of some sort or like spirit trying to, to send you soothing of some sort. Um, interesting. Or soothing of the soul. Some of you guys, I feel like this may be about like worrying, worrying about the future or like anxiety or like this need to be able to like self-soothe, this need to be able to come into like the present moment and not allow yourself to get overwhelmed by the future or what hasn't happened and may not ever happen. Um... Some of you guys may really spend a lot of time like in the mental body, really trying to play out every situation, really trying to see every possibility of how every single action is able to play out so that you can be prepared for anything. And there's something here where Spirit's saying like it, there's a need for soothing. And for some of you guys, the, the way that Spirit is showing me this is that there may be like a way to soothe you um, with some sort, there's like some sort of voice. So for some of you... Um, there could be, this could be like needing a very soft-spoken friend or needing like somebody to talk to, needing somebody that's like nurturing and nourishing to share your, your thoughts with. Um, and for some of you, this is like, um, there's some sort of frequency or music or something like that that can be very soothing or calming to your soul. Um interesting like the cello I'm, I'm really hearing like the cello um, can be something maybe for somebody here that can really bring you out of that fear of the future or out of that anxiety or out of that idea that um, you have to constantly be prepared for something that might happen because what that's doing is is robbing you of your life. It's robbing you of your present moment. It's robbing you of being able to build a life now that's going to nourish and protect and, and sustain you in the future. Um, interesting. Let's go ahead here and take a look at your card and then we'll shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go. So group number two, we have number 22 for group number two. Interesting. Um, and this here is the Luminous Brew. Yeah, there is a need for, for nourishment as well as I'm hearing like, <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing this through like Olaf from Frozen. Water holds memory. I think it's Frozen 2 actually. Water holds memory and there are like studies and uh, I think even an actual book that really shows the studies. Um, on this uh, and there's something here about like what you okay so some of you guys may be living in like a self-fulfilling prophecy energy where it's like you worry about something so much and you try to prepare for something that you're worried is going to happen in such a way that it actually makes it happen um, or causes you to only be able to see that aspect of reality and spirit here is saying like there is a need to to zoom out, a need to see the bigger picture or a need to set your sights in a different direction to allow yourself to see something other than this potential that maybe creates fear or causes you anxiety or stress. Um, so there's a message here for group number two to focus on to focus on the future that you want, to focus on the things that you want to happen and allow yourself to see the path to get to that. Allow yourself to see, you know, what preparations need to be had for that. Allow yourself to be optimistic and hopeful instead of only allowing yourself to see like the, the potential negative things that could happen. This is like not wanting to fall in love because you might get your heart broken one day. This is like not wanting... Um, 
you know, not wanting to get married because you might get divorced one day. There's something here where it's like the potential of the negative, the perceived negative outcome is stopping you from experiencing the positive experience. Interesting. So let's go ahead. There's also something here um, for group number two about using your past experiences as a form of protection um, or as a way to convince yourself that you already know how things are going to turn out. And what I'm hearing here is that there is a need to look at your past as a way to, again, help nourish, your, <laughs> nourish and nurture you instead of using it as a way to deflect any new experiences from coming in. You guys may be very, very stuck in utilizing the past negative experiences or even traumas for some of you guys as a shield, as a way to keep yourself from um, getting into any kind of energy. For example, if you've had your heart broken in the past, you may not allow yourself to get into a relationship with somebody because they have like a single mannerism that reminds you of that past experience. And so you automatically assume that this person is also going to break your heart in the same way that that last person does. And it's like using it as a shield. And spirit really wants you to become aware of the fact that you're doing that. Um, and, and to allow yourself to learn from the past, but not to hold on to it, um, in a way that continues to, it, it's almost as though you guys are holding on to something, whether this is conscious, subconscious from a past life, um, from like your soul, even for some of you guys, it's like you're holding on to something that... continues to repeat because of the fact that you're holding on to it interesting let's pull like if you guys find yourself always saying like I knew this was going to happen or I knew that things were going to go this way there's a need to dive deeper into that and see what it is that you're holding on to that's being reflected into your world because I feel like there's something here where it's like you need to recognize what this is showing you internally like what this is showing you that you're holding on to in order for you to work through releasing that so that you can break free of this cycle um I hope that makes sense for you. Let's pull some tarot, group number two. We have the sun. Yeah, there's a need to see, like, like the brighter side of things for some of you guys. We even have the luminous brew. We have the sun. Some of you guys may need to, like, work with the sun or work with light or even like you may need like more vitamin d or there's a need to allow yourself to see the brighter side of things um there's something very significant about light here allowing yourself to see maybe a lot of you guys haven't allowed yourself to see certain things or haven't allowed yourself to see the positivity in your life um, and without allowing yourself to see the positivity in your life, you may feel like you don't have anything to be grateful for, or you don't have anything to appreciate, or you may live in this lack mentality, or in this victim mentality, or in this idea that it's everybody else's fault, or, um, the reason why you haven't achieved your goals is because of the life you were born into. However that comes through for you, a big part of that stems from the inability to see the positivity that you do have around you, group number two. There's something here where it's like you are surrounded by positivity, but due to the fact that you have only allowed yourself to see the negative outcomes or the potential, um, the potential failures or whatever it is, however it is that you're viewing those things, um, it it's almost blinded you to all of the good things that you have around you. And, and spirit here is really wanting to remind you and really wanting to kind of remind your soul that you are very blessed and you have a lot more than you allow yourself to see. Interesting. Let's pull another card. 
And it's like the more you focus on the positivity, the more you allow yourself to see the positivity, the more this will expand as it does with the negative kind of energies, as it does with the fearful energies, as it does with the anxiety, the more you focus on it, the bigger it becomes. The more you focus on it, the more that's all you're able to see, the more that's all you're able to recognize. So there's a need to kind of switch that perspective there, group number two. The Empress. Interesting. Um, so I feel like this is going to be a major turning point within your life. Um, but what I'm seeing here for group number two is that the um, our solar system revolves around the sun, right? Um, and I feel like Spirit's telling you that you need to revolve around positivity. You need to be more drawn towards positivity and the more you allow yourself to see the light the more you allow yourself to grow and to be nourished by this positivity and by the things that you do have the more your universe will expand and the more you'll be able to create and the more abundance you'll have a lot of you guys may be really really affected like financially um, by your thought processes or by like this, this negative mindset, it may really significantly impact your financial situation sometimes. And you may really find that you get stuck in this lack mentality or this, I don't have enough, or, um, how am I going to make ends meet or this type of energy. And I feel like the more you can allow yourself to see what you do have, to see what you do have to be grateful for, um, and to see the abundance that is around you, the more that abundance will grow. Um, and that seems very significant for group number two. Maybe a lot of you guys here are meant to be wealthy, or you're meant to have more, or you're meant to shine, you're meant to be seen, you're meant to be kind of like big and expansive in a way. Um, for some of you guys, maybe that means you're meant to have enough to support or sustain, you know, generations, or you're meant to build a legacy, or you're meant to achieve something very great in your life it's going to be different things for different people you're meant to shine though in some way shape or form and you're meant to be abundant with that and in order for you to obtain this abundance which I feel like a lot of my group number twos have really been focusing on trying to um, build more financial security trying to build more financial stability trying to get out of debt potentially however this comes through for you the way to do this is the the, the doorway to this abundance is by beginning to see what you already have and beginning to use what you already have for some of you guys. Some of you guys may use this idea that I don't have every tool I need or I don't have everything that I need in order to complete this entirety of this project so I'm not going to start until I have enough. Um, and that's kind of that lack mentality as well as for some of you guys maybe you have tools maybe you have things that you could use to begin working towards something but you don't allow yourself to use it because you're scared of running out that's that lack mentality coming in in a different way and there's a need to use what you have okay so let's pull another card here As well as even for some of you guys, if you resonate with that, like that idea of needing to have all of the tools or that idea of being scared of running out, um, this could play out too where when you maybe have enough money or you have a little bit of money to invest into something, you may go spend all of that money investing into as much of the tools or the things that you need as possible when it can be much more successful if you do it a little bit at a time. If you buy, you know, say you're trying to begin painting or oil painting, um, you know, when you go to the store, buy one tube of paint. And then the next time you go, buy one tube of paint. Like, it doesn't have to be all at once. It doesn't have to be hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars to begin something, right? And then we also have justice coming out here. Yeah, there is a need for balance. There is an, it's very powerful energies coming through here for group number two. You guys have all major arcana. Again, I feel like this is going to be a very, a very major kind of pivoting point within your life where you no longer, um, yeah, there, it's just a major turning point for, for group number two where you're no longer, um, living in darkness or no longer living in lack, no longer living in 
stress or anxiety or fear of the future. Um, but there's, there's something here about like hoping, hope for the future, um, a brighter future. Interesting. But there's a need for balance with this justice energy here. I really feel like there's a need for balancing, you know, balancing your past and your future, allowing yourself to be in the present moment, um, allowing all parts of yourself to be seen. So this could come through to group number two, where it's like, you know, every time you become aware of, of yourself stressing about something or seeing a, a negative potential outcome or like it, once you become aware of that mentality, there's a need to like counteract that and balance it out by finding something positive, by finding something to be grateful for, by, um, you know, taking a second to become present and, and seeing the abundance around you in order to then balance that back out. Um, justice is Libra energy. It's represented by the scales, but it's also ruled by Venus as the Empress is Venus energy. So we have like the sun and Venus energy here very, very strongly, um, which Venus is all about luxury and indulging and wealth and abundance and love. And I feel like that's spirit saying like, you need to shine light on that Venus energy. You need to shine light on that energy of indulging instead of pulling back out of fear of not having enough or um, allowing yourself to indulge in pleasure and creativity and abundant type energies in order to bring those energies into your life instead of saying you can't have those energies and avoiding them. I hope that makes sense for you. Um, but let's go ahead and pull a couple more cards group number two a couple last final messages from spirit for group number two okay so this is our first card and feel free to pause this and and take a moment with this image see if it invokes any ideas any thoughts emotions memories um, and the message here is introspection. Introspection is often necessary to deepen our awareness of the unity and divinity of life. Yes, um, allowing yourself to look within instead of trying to look outside of you for every potential threat or every potential danger. Um, interesting. So again, this is about like balancing that internal and external world for group number to, and with that, there is a need to also become aware of how your internal world creates your external world because your internal world allows you, it, it kind of sets up the foundation of what it is you're able to see or recognize outside of you. So if your internal world is very lacking, if, if you are in a belief system or in a mindset or an emotional state that causes you to believe that you aren't enough or that you aren't worthy, then you will live in an environment that supports that idea or that belief or that way of thinking. Um, so yeah, that, that could bring about a lot of healing and a lot of awareness for you. Um, and this is our second card here, and the message here is growth. Feel open, willing, and proud of your desire to explore new opportunities for self-development. I love this for you guys, yeah. Allow yourself to look within yourself. We see that here even with the Empress card, like you are a whole universe within yourself. Um, and I feel like a lot of my group number twos maybe avoid looking within, maybe avoid being alone with yourself, maybe avoid um, kind of the self-care aspect or the self-development aspect, or you have been. This doesn't mean that you always have or that you always will, but it's like lately you've maybe been avoiding the self-development and the self-care and this introspection, this hermit-type energy, this self-exploration. Um, and I've found in my own personal experience that usually when we find ourselves avoiding these areas or any areas in life, it's because that's where we need it's where we need to look. Um, it's where we need to heal. It's where we need to grow. It's where we need to become aware of certain things that our shadow is kind of saying, let's not 
look at that and it, be, it can be very subconscious. It doesn't mean that you're doing it on purpose or that it's something you want to be doing, but to become aware of the fact that you are is already a step in the right direction. It's already a step towards your healing. I feel for group number two that really looking within and really becoming aware of the internal state that you live in is going to give you a lot of clarity of why your environment um, maybe supports that, that internal state. Uh, but this is what I'm seeing from a beautiful group number two. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. Let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Consider subscribing or joining the channel if you feel called to do so. I thank you guys so very much for joining me here today and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful group number three. Those of you that chose card number three with the clear quartz point here, this reading is for you. And uh, starting off here, group number three, there is a sense of amplification or a sense of even maybe empowerment for some of you guys, a sense of expansion, a sense of strengthening um, and for some of you guys this could be like strengthening of your gifts strengthening of your abilities strengthening of your skills strengthening of your um, your courage your um, your your mentality or your emotional body or it, you know it could be any part of yourself or even like an overall sense of just uh, there's a sense of uplifting here a sense of almost pride even for some of you guys um, coming in. And for some of you guys with that, it may feel like others are... There's a, there's a sense of guilt almost that's coming with that. Interesting. Um, so some of you guys may be experiencing like the sense of growth, the sense of expansion or amplification or empowerment. Um, and other people or like, you may be getting like this energy from others that makes you feel like you're doing something wrong for growing, um, or for moving forward. So group number three, what I'm getting, I'm, I'm really getting like the sense of like somebody being like, oh, you think you're too good for us now type energy coming in here. Um, and that may be something that you're experiencing as you're growing and as you're expanding and as you're moving forward, you may find that there are certain people or energies that maybe are trying to pull you back or make you feel bad in a way that makes you stop moving forward. Interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at this card here and then we'll shuffle the rest out as we go. But group number three, we have here the coiled snake. Interesting. So immediately what I got from this was there's a need to pick your battles. Um, there's a need to know, uh, okay, so I feel like group number three, a lot of you guys are in a current state of needing to harness your energy, needing to, to um, maybe hold back a little bit or to build up your strength or um, like that kind of energy, like really needing to allow your strength, your power, your abilities to build um, instead of expending them or even exploding for some of you guys. There's a need to know when to fight and when to reserve. That's the word I'm looking for. Reserve your energy. There's a need to reserve your energy right now. And some of you guys may be feeling attacked or you may be feeling like you need to stand up for yourself or you need to defend yourself. But there's something here where spirits like really saying you need to reserve your energy for your own growth and for your own development instead of expending it on things that aren't actually personal to you. Um, so for some of you guys, there is like this idea of separation, like this need to detach from someone, something, an environment, a space, an, an energy that is making you feel guilty. Um, and, and instead of defending yourself and putting energy into that and giving your power away to that person or that space or that energy by trying to prove yourself to them, there's a need to detach, okay? 
Interesting. I'm also getting, um, with this coiled snake, like some kundalini, kundalini energy for some of you guys. Um, so that may be something that you're experiencing as well. You may have experienced like a very sudden expansion, um, or you may be about to, and that may be why spirit is saying, reserve your power, reserve your strength, reserve your energy, because you're going to need it for a very sudden expansion or a very sudden growth. Um, you guys may be going through kind of a shedding of the skin and that's that kind of detachment energy and that can be very difficult and that can bring up these feelings of, of doubt or of guilt. Um, but there's a message here for group number three to like not allow other people to keep you from being the best version of yourself. Like don't allow other people to make you feel guilty for growing or even for outgrowing them. Um, Misery loves company, right? There's this idea that when somebody's ready to climb out of that misery, the misery is going to try to keep you there because it doesn't want to be alone. And that's kind of this energy that I'm feeling for group number three. So there, I'm sorry if you heard that very loud vehicle drive by, but there is a need for you to stand your ground, but there's no need to assert yourself. Like don't let people cross your boundaries but also allow them to say what they are going to say. Allow them to talk what they're going to talk. Allow them to be mad and sit in their own anger. There is nothing that you need to fix. There's nothing that you need to prove. There's nothing that you need to do to make things better. Um, what I'm hearing here is that there's a need to let go, honestly. Um, and the, the people or the right people that are meant to continue traveling along this journey with you will either catch up or they will realize um, in their own time what they have to do in order to kind of, there's something here where it's like you guys um, have advanced up to this level and it's like these people are still down here and there are going to be maybe a couple people that decide to eventually step up here with you. Um, but what Spirit's saying is don't allow yourself to step back down here to make these guys more comfortable. I hope that makes sense. Reserve your strength and allow yourself to advance. And I'm also like really hearing here, like don't make people feel bad for the decision. Like don't allow people to make you feel bad for the decisions that you've made. Um, Especially when it comes to like protecting yourself or your family or your loved ones, like not allowing your family or your children to be in a certain space or in a certain energy or in a certain environment or in the presence of certain people that you don't want them to be in. Interesting. That's kind of how it's being shown to me though. So maybe that's a very specific message for somebody here, but like maybe somebody here has children that... Uh, you know, maybe you have a toxic family or toxic family, mem family members that you don't want around your children or that you don't want in your life. And maybe other family members are trying to make you feel bad or trying to make you feel guilty for that because they're family and you're supposed to love them no matter what. No. Group number three, no. Um, don't, don't, as difficult as it is, don't allow them to have that power over you. Okay, um, but let's pull some tarot, group number three, and see what else Spirit wants you to know. Okay, so starting off here, we have the three of voices. Yeah, see, there's like heartbreak, there's sadness, there's guilt, there is separation, and the separation is never easy, but separation, I feel, is, is a, a necessary part of your personal journey at this time there is a need interesting there is a need to close the door behind you and and then you can sit down and you can cry but there is a need to close the door behind you group number three And, and that can mean different things for different people here. This is a general reading, okay? But there is, you know, whether this is a, an environment, whether this is a person, whether this is a, a job, um, some, it's, I feel it's something that you are quite attached to. It's something that 
you do have like this guilt for leaving behind, but there is a need to leave it behind. And that doesn't mean it never will come back or that if it's a person that they won't heal and ascend later on and kind of meet you in that space later on in your journey. But right now there is a need to shut that door behind you, group number three. Continue to do what's best for you. And what's best for you is is what you know in your heart and what you know that you need, not what other people make you feel like you should do or make you feel like you should be um, allowing in your life or anything like that. It's, it's very personal. Um, interesting. We also have the devil. Yeah, there's attachments here that are being broken and... I feel for some of you that there may be kind of an urge to try to continue to hold on to them. And for some of you guys, there may be like people or these attachments trying to cling on to you um, as you try to shut this door. But whichever way that comes through for you, um, This is creating like major change within your life um, and, and it may feel very intense or very amplified right now, even group number three in your life, but there is a need to reserve your strength. Don't try to hold on to anything that makes you feel lesser than, that makes you feel guilty. Don't try to hold on to anything out of this sense of obligation or out of this idea that you have to stay loyal to it or out of codependency even for some of you guys. Um... There's something here where it's like the best way out is to, it's almost like retreat, to, to coil back up, to pull yourself back, to detach, to shut that door behind you, um, and then allow yourself to process those emotions that you're feeling. Allow yourself to feel those. Allow yourself to go through that guilt without allowing that guilt to have power over the decisions that you make, because the only way to get through it is to go through it. The only way to get to the other side of that guilt or that heartbreak is to allow yourself to feel it and to process it, group number three. It's the only way to separate yourself from these attachments that are holding you back is really what I feel like. Whatever attachments these are are holding you back and they're expending your energy and they're taking too much from you. They're taking too big of a toll on you for you to be able to continue growing in the way that you're meant to grow or for you to be able to move towards what you're meant to be. It's holding you back almost like from your own destiny, from your own growth. It's almost like chains, you know, if you're a seed, it's almost like chains around that seed keeping you from growing out of the soil. Some of you guys may need to do like cord cutting rituals too if there's heavy energetic connections or ties to certain people. Um, but even with this kind of almost like volcano type energy back here, there is a need to really um, reserve your energy for when you need it um, and you'll know when you need it. But there's like this energy of needing to pick your battles. Um, not trying to prove yourself or not trying to make other people understand you because they're not going to. They're only, like, I feel like group number three, you may be in situations right now where it's like these people are only viewing you as somebody who's abandoning them or somebody who is, um, you know, who thinks they're better than they are or however that comes through for you. And, and there's a need to just leave that where it is right now. Um, you, there's nothing that you can say or do that's going to make them change the way they're viewing the situation at this time because what, what they're doing, even subconsciously for a lot of them, I don't feel like it's a conscious thing that they're doing because I don't feel like these people that are doing this are evolved enough to have the awareness of what they're doing. But what they're doing is manipulating you. What they're doing is trying to make you feel like you have to make the decision to stay. And again, I don't, as some of them may be intentional, some of them may know what they're doing. You will know better in your own situation, as again, this is a general reading. But I feel like a lot of these people that we experience in this way aren't evolved enough to have the awareness um, that they are actually being codependent.
a lot of the times outgrowing outgrowing people and situations and energies in our environments is very difficult. Um, and I feel like that's what's happening here. And we have the moon. Um, yeah, there there is like this very strong energy here of really needing to allow um, certain connections or ties or attachments to come to completion. Allowing yourself to step away from these, shut that door and step into the unknown. A lot of you guys may have gone through certain experiences or even certain separations in your life already where, you know, you viewed it as like, I don't know what I would ever do with myself or with my life if I was ever away from this person or if I, you know, if something ever happened to you, God, I don't know how I'd live through that. And it's like you're being asked to step into that unknown. You're being asked to step in that. I don't know how I would move forward energy and step into that un unknown, even though it may feel very shadowy and it may even you know have that guilt or these emotions um or this sadness there is a need to allow yourself to figure out how you would live your life without these attachments whatever that means for you group number three interesting i really just get this very strong sense that you guys are outgrowing environments situations people relationships and these people or these environments are trying to keep you there they're trying to latch on trying to hold you down trying to hold you back because they're scared of you leaving But there's a need to move into that unknown territory. There's a need to continue moving forward and to kind of cut those ties with those energies that are trying to keep you from growing for their own personal comfort. Anybody, let me just say this, anybody who tries to keep you held back or tries to make you feel guilty for wanting to better yourself or better your life because it makes them uncomfortable is a toxic attachment, okay? Um... You know, there's varying degrees of this, of course, but there's just a need to be aware of that. Like anybody who makes you feel bad for wanting to be better, wanting to do better, wanting to heal um, because it makes them uncomfortable or because, you know, their own maybe selfish desires to keep you um, where you are because it serves them in some way that is toxic and... and I feel like that's what you guys, group number three, are being asked to separate and shut that door on. But let's go ahead and pull a couple last messages for group number three. Okay, let's pull one more. So here is our first image and feel free to pause this to take a moment to look at this, see if it invokes anything within you, see if it uh, makes you feel anything, makes you think anything, invokes any memories, emotions. Um, and our message here is explore. Trust your imagination to help you journey through your inner landscape to find what you seek. Yeah, you guys are being asked to explore new territory for sure to allow yourself to shut that door on that territory that you've already explored to its entirety like there's something here that has come to a completion and it's time to expand it's time to grow okay and then this is our second card again feel free to pause if you want to take a moment to see if this brings you any messages or any information and our message here is habits. Examine habits that may impede the pathways to your goals and encourage beneficial ones. Yeah, um, you guys are definitely being asked to let go of any sort of patterning or behaviors that keep you stagnant, that keep you from growing, that impede on your growth, especially any outside forces that would see you stay stuck or be held back to make themselves feel more comfortable 
interesting, but this is what I'm seeing from a beautiful group number three. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose pile number three. Let me know what other readings you guys would like to see. Consider subscribing if you feel called to do so or joining the channel if that's something that you are interested in. I thank you guys so very much for joining me here today and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.